West Indies bowled out for 182. There is a good chance that he might not bat again. Magnificent. These are magical numbers. 153 runs short of 16,000. Tendulkar on strike. He's gone for the sweep shot. There is a field in the deep. The single being cheered as well. Oh, that certainly played back and got the length and the width for it, or, or do you try to get forward? That's what I'm keen to understand. Wow! Look at that for sheer brilliance. Well, they left the field open for that shot. A lot of good off-spinners do that, leave point, third man open, invite the batsman to play the shot. Well, he accepted the invitation. Ooh. Well, he's played that very fine. He's playing with the field a little bit here. Oh, great shot to bring up the half-century in his last test innings. He dug it in short. And then Tendulkar waited. A hundred and nineteen scores of fifty plus. Why well, didn't get the runs there, do? I think they'll have to do something about that area now. I don't think it's biting off the turf enough to make that a dangerous shot just now. Fine shot, punch of the back foot. He doesn't even move, Tendulkar. That's four for the taking. Down the ground he goes. And uh, beats Mina. And into the boundary. No. Tendulkar's got to go. That is the end of this innings. Tendulkar is on the slow march back. There is a deathly silence here at the Wankhede Stadium, Mumbai. Tendulkar did not wait for the decision. He knew he had just chipped it to slip, and he's on his way back. And Don Bradman walked out to bat, needing only four runs to average 100 in Test cricket. I was not aware that it was going to be my last innings. Uh, neither was I aware at that stage that I only wanted four runs to have a test match average of 100. And uh, it was a pretty emotional occasion because he hardly called all his fieldsmen around and they all gave me three cheers before I took block. Ollis bowling and Don playing perhaps his last test innings here. As Holly pitches the ball up slowly and he's bowled. Bradman. Bowls, Hollies, no. Bowls, Hollies, no. Silence. Absolute silence. But it's an extraordinary thing that it happened, you know. The... There he goes. That's a 300 for Lara. He'll get there comfortably. Second trip of century for Brian Lara. And isn't he happy? Only the second man in the history of the game to get two triple centuries well the smiles back on the faces of West Indies cricket and it's a genius that's done it for the record 300 in 404 deliveries 34 fours two sixes and he's still in that's gone a long long way it's gone into the Savivian Richards pavilion for six and it draws a Brian Lara level with the current world record holder Matthew Hayden that's the way to do it Michael Vaughan brings the field in I have a feeling I know where this might be going Bish there it is the world record has fallen once again to Brian Charles Lara of Trinidad and Tobago and the West Indies the second time in his career that he's broken this record and what a moment of history this is a repeat performance 10 years ago he set it and he's done it again at the very ground 
399. Brian Lara on strike. There goes the sweep. There it is. Perhaps the most significant single ever in the history of Test Match Cricket. Brian Charles Lara becomes the first man in the history of the game to register a score of 400. 582 deliveries, 776 minutes with 43 fours and four sixes. I'm sure he'd love to just get Laurel strike, yeah? Bowl at Dylan. Oh. That's why he has been reluctant to bowl Robin Peterson. Lara has uh, not allowed Peterson to settle at all. Yet another boundary. He's helped himself beautifully. And for good measure, all the way. That's gone for six. The first six of the innings for Brian Lara. Going, going, gone. Marco commentator called it before Peterson had even got to the crease. He nudged me and said, he has another one. And indeed it was. Two in a row. And four more for good measure. This is wonderful stuff down here. 24 runs in the over so far. And Graham Smith and Robin Peterson must be wondering what to do next. Oh, the full range, the full range of his greatness. Very, very delicate. 361 for six. Spot of bother. 28 for two. Beautifully timed. It's clipped off his pack. Try and get the length right. Try and get the line right. He didn't get the line right there. This is the problem that the South African bowlers. Goodness me, that is a terrific shot. Couldn't get down in time to uh, stop that boundary. Just slightly over of his head. That is a wonderful reply from ten. Just about carry. Edged again. That brings up the half century for Sachin Tendulkar. It's got that fine. That was intentional. Might just reach the boundary. In fact. Just cut off. Top edge. Will that go the distance? Six it is and a hundred for Sachin Tendulkar. Second of the series and the 51st of his career. It just keeps coming, doesn't it? He's been made to work extremely hard. The Newlands crowd is on their feet to see possibly the last time that Sachin Tendulkar will be here in South Africa. Very well played. Then, uh, right, right in, uh, in Antigua. Well, this is what we're going to look at now. The fifth test match in Antigua. 110 in all, 100 of 56 balls. The fewest ever in test match cricket for a century. John Embry suffering there, and then the first of half a dozen sixes as Ellison sees a perfectly respectable delivery dispatched from the middle of the bat. They always say that the best batsmen let the top hand dominate their shots. Richards puts that theory to the ultimate test. A six that time, and then the one-arm bandit struck again for a four. Embry must have been wondering what to bowl next. A full toss was not the answer.
Ian Botham found that his 354 test wickets counted for nothing when he bowled to Richards. A mighty blow into the top tier of the stand. He bowls a slow half volley outside leg stump and that too goes for six. A high percentage of Richard's runs had come in boundaries, but refreshments were still in order for batsman and bowler alike. And that was all that slowed Richards down as he went to his century with a perfectly controlled sweep off middle stump. If Richards could have chosen anywhere in the world to score a century like this, his home ground in St John's Antigua would have been the venue, and the crowd gave him a rapturous reception. Richard's second 50 took just 21 balls, and in all he struck six sixes and seven fours. And this was the last six before the end of the innings. Now, Viv, in 1987-88 against Pakistan in the third test, you made over 100 runs in the match, and in the course of that became the ninth batsman ever to reach 7,000 runs. That was in your 94.